Dr. Oz. I'm here in Davos. I've got an email, uh, qu actually a question from, uh, from Carolina, 120710. What is Mexico? She's asking, uh, how do you think our global economy will be in uh, three, five, or even ten years? And what can we do to make it better? I think after being at Davos uh, for a couple of days, I'm very optimistic about the global economy. And maybe not for the reason you think. We've talked about health issues here and, and how we're going to get ahead of a lot of issues that may prevent you from being healthy in life. Because remember, who cares if you're healthy, if you're wealthy, rather, if you're not healthy. But what I really am enjoying is the conversation about, about being connected again. And what ultimately, I think, has fallen out of the bottom of the world economy is we're not connected with each other. We don't trust each other. We don't trust each other at a national level. We don't trust each other at a global level. We don't try to trust each other in our companies and often in our families. So there's a lot of emphasis on the foundations of what makes uh, economies move forward that are built on trust. So how do you support smaller groups of people doing things together where they know each other, they therefore trust each other, and instead of having them being bought up by huge companies, let them thrive on their own. Let them be part of the global economy. It actually balances it out a little bit, provides a lot of stability, but also brings that intimacy, that connection back that I think is going to help the economy improve over the next couple of years. Yeah.